last night. Oh, it's pounding my head. This is the worst feeling ever. Oh, I can't sleep any longer, and I want to, but I can't. What does mom do when she has a headache? She goes and gets medicine. Maybe I should go and get medicine from the medicine cabinet. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll go do that. All right. Oh, this is the worst feeling ever. Okay, time to start climbing these drawers. Gotta get to the top. Ugh. Okay, I got this. Uh, oh. uh, all right, there's the medicines. Okay. Hmm. Which one do I take? Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll take this middle one. Mom usually takes like two of these, so I'm just gonna take two too. All right. Hmm. I think I take water with it. Uh, now I wait for my headache to go away. I guess I'll go sit on the couch and lay down for a minute. Uh, um, um, um. Puppies, how are you guys doing? Ellie, how are you doing? Oh, you want your belly scratched, huh? That's why we call you Ellie Belly. Look at those chompers. Oh, yeah. Shake, shake. Good girl. So cute. Are you tired or something? Ray Ray. Shake on it. Nice to meet ya. My name's Bray. <laughs> They're so sleepy. You guys are so funny. All right, let's go inside. Hey puppies, let's see where Emily is. Come on, let's see if she's awake yet. Come on puppies, come on. Come here baby, come on Ellie. Come on. There you go. All right, let's see. Oh, Emily's awake. She got into the suckers. Emily's a naughty girl, huh, Ellie? Naughty baby. All right, maybe she's upstairs. Let's go upstairs, Ellie. Come on, let's go. Upstairs, come on, up here, up here. Good girl. Come on, Raven. There she is. Okay, all righty. Emily, where are you? Emily! Emily! I don't see her anywhere. Oh no! Somebody got into the medicine! The ibuprofen! Uh oh, that's not good. Babies, where are you? Emily! Emily, did you get into the medicine? Emily, wake up! Hey mom, what's up? Did you get into the medicine on the cabinet? Uh, no, I didn't. You need to tell me the truth, Emily. You're the only one up here in awake. Who who got into the medicine, do you know? I don't know, Mom. I have no idea. I can tell you're lying to me. Uh, yeah, I got into it, Mom. Sorry. How many did you take? Um, two. You took two ibuprofens? Yeah. Emily, that's horrible. You cannot take medicine without asking me. You can get very, very sick. Oh, sorry, Mom. Yeah, sorry is fine, but this is a very big situation. We need to read the label and see. We might have to take you to the hospital, Emily. This is very, very important and, and scary stuff to mess with. You cannot take medicine unless I give it to you and I say it's okay. Okay, this says keep out of reach of children. In case of overdose, get medical help or contact Poison Control Center right away. And there's the number right there. Emily, I'm sorry, I should have kept this medicine in a locked up container, super, super high, high away from you. Oh, I can't believe, I'm so sorry. We need to call the Poison Control Center because I don't know if you took too much for your little size of body. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be right back. I need you to drink all this water and try to flush yourself out. Mom, chill out, you're freaking out. Emily, you don't know the severity of this issue. I think we're, we're gonna have to take you to the hospital. Gotta be kidding me, I don't wanna go to the hospital. 
Emily, this sort of medicine isn't for babies like you. I need to go talk to a doctor. I'll be right back, Emily. Keep drinking that water. Ugh, she's freaking out way too much. It's not even a big deal. Okay, all right. Emily, get, get dressed. We're going to take you to the hospital. Are you kidding me, Mom? Well, I'm very serious. Go get dressed really quick. No, Mom, I'm not getting dressed. Okay, then you're going like that. Hurry, come on, let's go. Come on. Mom! Mom, stop it. You're being way too dramatic. I don't need a wheelchair. Just stay right there, Emily. I'll go get the doctor. Okay, so do you happen to have the medicine that your daughter Emily took? Yeah, I do right here. Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna check some of her vitals real quick. Okay, great. Thank you, Dr. Nicola. Okay, Emily, first I am checking your heart. Hmm. Seems to be okay. How long ago did she take this medicine? Um, I, I really don't know. Uh, Emily, when I saw you on the couch, how soon um, before that did you take the medicine? I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes before you, you found out. Okay, so Dr. Nicola, it's probably been in her system for about an hour. All right, okay, um, let's do a couple other things. I'm gonna take your temperature real quick, Emily. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, we'll just leave that in there for a minute so I can get an accurate reading. Okay, let me grab a couple other things. And I'll look in your ear real quick. Uh, looks good. Okay, let's take, check out your temperature. Well, it says your temperature is pretty good. And Emily, I'm going to have you lay down right here, just for a minute. Uh, okay. Alright, how are you feeling, Emily? I feel fine. Can I go home now? Alright, so what do you think, Dr. Nicola? Alright, well, if your time is right and she took the medicine about an hour ago, it would have taken an effect already. Um, why did she have, have... Why did she want to take the medicine in the first place, do you know? Well, honestly, I don't... Um, Emily, why did you take medicine in the first place? Because I had a headache. Uh, my head was killing and I couldn't sleep anymore, so I got up to take medicine like you do. Alright, well I guess that's the answer. She had a headache. Emily, do you still have your headache? Nope, it's gone. I feel great. Well, she's, she's gone this long with uh, no side effects, so um, I honestly think she'll be okay. Alright. It is very important that if you have little kids, you need to lock up your medicine in, your, in something really high and in an actual lock. On most occasions, when little kids get into medicine, we have to pump their stomach. And we pump their stomach by putting a tube down their mouth, into their throat, into their stomach, and we have to suck all of the stuff out of their stomach so that the medicine doesn't end up going into their system any further than it already has. It's a very, very, very serious situation. So I'm, I'm glad that you uh, brought your daughter Emily into the hospital today just, just to make sure nothing bad happened. However, it should not have been that easy for your daughter to get into the medicine cabinet. Yes, I agree, Dr. Nicola. I, I will definitely lock up my cabinet once I get home. I can't chance any of my other babies getting into that medicine. There's, there's some very strong, serious medicine in there. All right. Well, I, I actually hope that you do that. Um, a lot of people end up uh, dying that way. They end up taking too much medicine, and even grown-ups can do this. And they take too much medicine on accident, and they end up they end up dying because their their body can't handle how much medicine they just took. It's not good. That is so sad. Yeah. All right. Well, that definitely is a very serious thing, and I, I will do that when I get home. I'll lock up all my medicine and put it up high so my babies can't get to it. Wonderful. Well, I hope for the best for you. Thank you, Dr. Nicola. All right, Emily, are you ready to get out of here? Yes, Mom, I'm ready. Do you have to wheel me out in this wheelchair? No, I don't have to. But, all right, let's go. Let's get you home. Goodbye, Emily. No more getting into medicine without asking your mother. Yes, Dr. Nicola. All right, well, I hope I don't see you again here. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, I hope I don't see you here again either. I don't like the hospital or coming here. It's creepy. It's not creepy, it's where I work. But I don't want you uh, getting sick or anything, all right? All right, I'll try not to. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye. See ya. All right, Emily, I hope you learned your lesson. I hope you learned your lesson too, Mom.
What are you talking about? Well, if I can get into the medicine, any of the other babies can get into the medicine too. So you need to lock it up, like the doctor said. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. You're definitely right, and I'm, I'm going to do that. I want you to just sleep and take it easy for the rest of the day. I think I found the reason why you uh, had a really bad headache, Emily. Did you eat a ton of sugar and lollipops last night before bed? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, a lot of headaches can be avoided if you're eating healthy and you're not eating too much sugar, so... A lot of times we shouldn't even really need to take medicine unless we have like serious medical issues. And you don't have serious medical issues right now or hopefully ever. So just make sure you're not eating too much sugar and you shouldn't have headaches, okay? Okay, mom. Okay, well I want you to rest and I'll go lock up the medicine and put it up super, super high so no one else can get into it. <sighs> okay, mom, maybe I can fall asleep. Okay, catch up on my snoozes. Mm. Okay, and I'm gonna take these suckers away. <laughs> Have a good nap, Emily.